So I thought I'd spend a few minutes showing how I wired up these lights. So uh, I've got my red, green, yellow, blue lights there. If you look at the longest lead, the longest lead is the positive. And so you can see with that, I've got the resistor against the negative and I've basically got the same thing on each. So positive is the one on the inside and negative is the one on the outside. With each of these resistors, I've just got a resistor there for load, which I think is 220, 330, something like that. Can't remember, but I just had these around. So I've put them in. So the resistors don't go to the positive. The resistors go to the negative leg legs on both of those. And it's the same on all of them. I take negative there. So I set the ground there for that. And also I want to do another negative across to this other side. So. So I'm just going to take it from that bit and bring it across to there. So that gives me my path to ground on all of them. And then each of these other wires are going to be for each of the general purpose pins. So pin two is the first one I do. So as that's there, all I need to do is put it to the other leg of the LED. So that's red, so that's not right. So let's try there, is that the red one? Yeah, red. And then let's set the next one up, which should be the blue, if I've got it in the right order. I messed about with the order for ages. There you go, that's okay. And then the yellow, so I'll take that from GP4 and into there hopefully no i've got that the wrong way around so it's got to be that one there you go and finally i'll put that fourth pin on to there so now each of those general purpose pins are now firing its respective color they're quite simple to wire up Obviously, I've got the uh, resistors in as well, just to uh, take some load off the LEDs. You know, while I'm here, I want to try something else. While I've got this set up on this Maker Pi Pico, it yeah, got this uh, audio out. I want to try audio out. I don't want this to be as loud as the other one, so I'm going to alter it slightly. The trouble is these don't have a volume control. Well, there's volume control on, on board but uh, there's not one on the outside, so we'll have to do something about that. I'm going to get a little jack plug, and I'm going to plug the speakers into this jack plug. Um, stereo jack plug, mono socket, don't care. And let's power up the speakers. I'm just going to power them up from the computer as well. All right, so on the Pico Explorer, it said to get the sound working, you had to do GP0 to the audio. So I think audio is a direct wire to that piazza, piazza. So I'm going to take the GP0 out and maybe just really gently. Oh, it's not making a sound at the moment. I'm going to take that out and let's um, connect that. There's that audio out there. And I want the ground as well. Um, so I'm going to plug this into that ground rail, which was in the middle. And I'm using red, and that's the only jumper that I've got. Excuse me about that. That's my ground, and this is my signal. Now, ideally, I'd just connect this, um, connect that to there, and connect that, well, to, to that ground. That's buzzing a little bit, but if I turn that on now, I think it's going to be really loud. So I've just got another resistor here. I think this is, oh, I can't remember what this is. Um, maybe 500 ohms, something. Uh, yeah, 500 ohms, something like that. Can't remember. Anyway, hopefully that will be enough. So let's, instead of connecting that directly, I'll connect it to... The resistor and that will act as a volume control because i just want to see what the quality of the tone is that comes out of here when that tone's not 
coming through um, that piazza. So let's see, let's see if it starts. There you go. That's a lot more pleasing, isn't it? And what happens if we get it wrong? Ah, oh, so they're really nice little tones out of that. Sounds like they're square wave. But um, yeah, so quite nice to have the sound coming out a little different way and not having to use that 